Hey everybody. I get asked a lot how I cut out my images for my cards. Like I just posted this card um, yesterday and I had a question on how it is I get such detail cutting done and how, so even. So I thought I would take another image and cut it out for y'all. This is um, one of the images from the Ginger Snap Spring Thing set. So I will include a link to that on my sidebar. But all I do I stamp and color the image and then I take my paper snips and I start I just choose a spot to start and I start cutting I always leave a little bit of a border around the image I think it's easier that way and I just like the definition it gives when it's all cut out and it's got this little bit of a white border around it and the biggest thing is is you go a little bit slow and you move the cardstock, not the scissors. That way you can get smoother cuts that way and it's not um, sharp ends to it. So you just go like that. You can see um, one of my previous videos on my favorite scissors and I talk about these scissors as well as some of the other ones that I use. These paper snips are my favorite scissors to use for detail cutting like this. And generally I cut with the scissors more open. I don't use, I don't cut to the very tip unless I'm cutting out a really tiny little detailed spot. And then I will take the very tip and cut. But for all this detail cutting, I keep the scissors almost as wide open as they will go and then just gently move the cardstock along. I'm going a little bit slower as I'm talking and cutting at the same time, but when I'm just sitting here stamping and making a card, I can go quite quicker. Um, you, just, you just need practice. After you've done this quite a few times, it's really easy to just quickly cut out an image the way you want it. I never think twice about it really. But you just follow around the lines. And then a section like this, I would just cut that off to get rid of the extra cardstock that's getting in the way. And then I just keep following along. Like so. And I, I just eyeball how far I want the border to be from the image. And sometimes, it's not always perfect, in fact it rarely is, but when it's all done you can't even really tell. So, there we go. And then a little section like this, I just leave. Sometimes, depending on the image, if there's a wider open space, I'll use, sometimes I'll use my paper snips or I'll take a craft knife and cut it out, but not very often. So usually it's just like so. So I hope that helps you guys. And